Um, I'm making this video because I'm 18. Well, I'm going to be 18 in an hour from now, depending on when I post this. And, um, basically it signifies that I've been on Twitter for five years now. Um, I know it's not some big magic number like, oh, I'm 18, I'm suddenly more adult than I was yesterday, but... You know, f five years on this website is a long time, and I felt like I should, um, you know, thank people. Because, and this is gonna be really, really mushy, and I'm blaming it on the fever. Um, when I joined Twitter, I was 13 years old, and I had no friends, online or otherwise. Uh, I was a freshman in high school, I was ugly, not that judges anything, but I, I was ugly, so, you know, teenagers are awful, they judge you because of that. Um, and I was stupidly smart, that's an oxymoron for you, and I was an atheist. So, I was bullied constantly for these things, by people who have known me for, um, forever, really, and... I mean, I went, I sat next to the kid who chokes me with tinsel in my math class. So I was not in a good place. Um, and I joined Twitter. I didn't really have any expectations. I just wanted to see what it was about. And what I found was a big community of people of all ages, from all backgrounds, and all over the world, friends with each other, no matter what. There was no judgment, or if there was, there was very, very small. And I immediately felt at home. And I could write, and I could express myself, and I could grow into the person I am now because of what Twitter has given me. So I want to thank um, a few people. This is in no particular order, except I'm starting with the people I have known the longest and working my way up. Five years. Got a lot. Um... I'm not sure if I have the order right for this. I guess the first person to thank would be, um, uh, what's, god, shit. I'm really feverish, I'm sorry, I am so, so, so sick. Um, Greggles, yes, that's the word. I was gonna say mozzles for a moment. I, I, I don't even know. Um, so Greggles and I met about five years ago four and a half, maybe, um, role-playing on my god-awful original character, Makia, who is a 15-year-old adopted daughter of Sherlock Holmes. And she was a Mary Sue, and no one played with her, but then Greggles did. And she has helped me through a lot, and I like to help. I, you know, somewhat return the favor. And she made role-playing really fun, basically. And then, of course, that segues into Scarlet, who I met around the same time and actually role-played with her without knowing that I was role-playing with her. I, I did not know that was her, and I feel really embarrassed about that. Um, let's see. Also, of course, Anthony and Catherine, both of you, I've known forever. Okay. Catherine especially. I met you on my river account when we would throw lemons at each other. <laughs> and it was completely ridiculous, but it was so fun. And it was so great, and our friendship has just bloomed, and I made an exploding sound for something blooming. Um, <laughs> and Anthony, you know our history, okay? You made me feel beautiful when we were together. You made me feel great. And I am sorry for my gayness. Um, and you were a great writer. You are a great writer. And we had so much fun. I and mean, honestly, we should really write more. Um, Punky is next, I guess. I've known her for three and a half years? Three and a half? Four? Eh, somewhere around there. A really long time. This will be my thir the third birthday she has spent with me. 15, six, 16, 17, 18, I think. I think that's the order. Um, honestly, we joke around a lot, 
but I do consider you one of my closest friends on here. Only because... Look, I just have to thank you for not putting up with my bullshit. I was god-awful when I was younger than 17. Like, Jesus Christ, and this goes for everyone who's known me longer than that. I was so annoying. I was! Don't even try to hide it. I mean, it was teenageritis. I know that's what it does. But thank you for not playing around with me when it comes to that and, and telling me when I'm being an asshole or telling me when I was being immature. And for God's sakes, for putting up with me through so many of those debates we would have on such, on subjects I had no education on whatsoever. I mean, honestly, you have no idea how much you've helped me. I think I have become more mature just talking to you. And I really hope we can meet sometimes. Um, it goes to Dav, too. Dav, you and I aren't as close, but you have still been there for years now. And we don't play a lot, but you would always take the time to explain when I was being stupid. <laughs> you were always not afraid to tell me I was wrong. You didn't coddle me. You didn't patronize me. You were just great and nice and, you know, sturdy and stern when I needed it. Um, and I really hope, you know, we continue being friends. Um, Vendetta, obviously. You've been my best friend for years now. Like I said, this is not in any sort of order. Bruh, you took my fucking virginity. <laughs> okay. <coughs> that was a that was quite the birthday present. Um you have just grown up with me really. And I am just so grateful I have friends like you. I never thought I would have a best friend like I have with you. And I hope it lasts for many more years. Um let's see. There are more people. There are so many more people. I'm not forgetting about you. I just have no brain right now. So, bah. Mm. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ooh. Ah. Jess? Jess, I want to thank you for writing with me. I want to thank you for making, sort of bringing back my love for Koshi because he was sort of dead to me for a while and then Kolok just sort of brought him back and it, it was, mm. it was great. It is great. I like breaking people. I like breaking my characters and you help me with that. Like Christ. Um, Carrie and Marcus. Where do I even start with that? Um, Marcus, this is the mushiest you'll ever see me. Make fun of me for it. I will hunt you down. I actually know where you live now. Um, we've been friends for years. Closer than friends, we've been family for years. Uh, and you have always been there with me. Even when I fucked up. Even when you fucked up. Uh, we could debate about anything and not offend each other most of the time. Mm. Um, I mean, I went to your fucking wedding. <laughs> I'm not sure how much closer you can be to someone. Not only that, I was involved in the wedding. Carrie, especially. I was your bridesmaid. That's awesome. To know that I've known- that I've never met you before in person and I was part of the biggest day of your life. It means so much to me. That I- that you thought of me like that, that you think of me like that. And that was one of the best trips of my life. And not just because we had sex two days before your wedding. Although that was pretty great. Pretty great, thank you for that. Um, let's see, I know I'm forgetting people. Um, I want to thank the people I haven't known as long as everyone else. I want to thank Liddy for being there for me and helping me through a lot of shit and always reassuring me. Like, I'm fairly certain you don't have a mean bone in your body when it comes to your friends. Same with Kate. Just the kindness you two have for everyone you love is astounding. 
I feel like I can never have a low self-esteem when I'm around you guys. And for someone who suffered with low self-esteem for years, that means a lot. Harrison, um, you're just fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm just grateful that we clicked so quickly and we became close friends so quickly and I, I just It's just great. So many of you have just become my friends without any questions asked and It's amazing because I spent my whole life being judged and I feel like I could kill a man and you guys would be like great So when you're coming online and I mean don't do that if I kill a man, please call the cops, but like You know what I mean? I'm just grateful because I had you guys as a crutch for five years now. For the hardest years of my childhood, I had an entire support system of friends and people I can honestly say I consider family and people I never want to forget and I haven't even met most of you in person. You know how amazing that is? I have two friends in real life now, Sammy and Narda, and they are great friends, they are my best friends, but online it's you guys who have seen me at my ugliest, it's you guys who have seen me at my worst and picked me up and made me feel bigger than myself, better than myself. Um, so thank you. Thank you, and I'm sorry if this video was super long-winded and gross, uh, but I don't care. <laughs> Bye.